Hi there, sign of Capricorn. This is Kim with your reading. Hope you're doing good. Let's get into this. I'm going to use Kim Cran's Wild Unknown uh, Alchemy deck. And then I have <laughs> interesting cards. Heaven or Hell Oracle. And then the Tree of... No, the Circle of Life. The Circle of Life Tarot. And if you got a private reading, which, by the way, thank you for the support with private readings. People have been buying them. Yay. They're $22 to $60. Three prices in the description box below. It's a recorded reading. It's based on time. And um, as far as, like, the prices are based on time. And thank you for the support there. Hopefully uh, you are liking the videos and subscribing if you're here and you actually like them. Oh, Capricorn, we have the sun and the peacock still. This is some good stuff. Here comes the sun, but it's all in the reverse, so what it is is it's coming. Oh, might be a secret. Maybe some type of secret tied to this. We'll figure out what the secret is. Yes, we will. The golden rose. Yes, we will. And we won't care what other people think. <laughs> That's that card. We're just going to put that up. <laughs> we won't care what other people think. Shine your colors. Your colors are about to shine. The sun is going to bring <clears throat> illumination. It's going to illuminate something for you here. Bringing in bliss, happiness. For some, it's a new relationship. For some, it's addition. It's birth of a child or the pregnancy to come. Or it is a <clears throat> a career change. It's something that it it feels like it's tied to this golden rose, this secret, sacred secret. This is something like a gift, a skill, an ability, or this whole experience is going to be so new. It's going to be like this gift, this thing. It's going to make you feel like the blood is pumping again, make you feel like you're alive. So this is like that kundalini energy all energy centers getting activated, making you feel alive. I keep wanting to say again, so alive again. All right, so the Heaven or Hell Oracle has, um, as you know, probably, I don't know, you might not know this, that there's 72 fallen angels and then there's a counterbalance those are called the goetia number is assigned to each fallen angel and then there is a kabbalistic number that is assigned to each corresponding angel that would have actually higher authority because they're a higher order angel um and so that's what's going to come out as to maybe what is influencing this or what we need to take a look at Hmm. I have fervor. 34. War and strife. War and strife. So there has to be a balance regarding that. Regarding something about an energy that's influencing conflict. Self-atonement. Higher order. 60. Self-atonement. Taking control of things for yourself. Um, doing what's right. What you know to be right. Divine forgiveness. And then I have an influence here of quiet solitude. Um... It's in opposition to divine comfort. So there could be a little bit about being in a dark place or having... Influencing you somehow to stew on something longer than maybe necessary. Or to make something bigger than it needs to be.
of neglecting duties in opposition to divine grace. Laziness versus patience. Light and understanding, love and submission, opposing energy, cruelty. Yeah. What in the world? What's this about? Magician. The magician. Because of what you're, because of something that you're creating. Um, the magician has all the tools to create whatever they want to. There's something about putting an end to these. The if somebody betrayed you. Or if you were hurt really bad, instead of carrying that along with you to put an end to it. The Ten of Swords. Putting an end to it. Forgiveness and letting the past be the past. <clears throat> Bringing in light and understanding. One of the high priestess, listening to your own intuition. The queen of cups. I got premonition, intuition, self-care. Not neglecting your self-care. Ooh. Yeah, there's something that uh, th this, okay, th whatever, oh, heartbreak too. Whatever this is, is five of, of wands. It seems like pettiness or arguing, but it's something that really, it's bothering you as far as like in your thoughts or causing nightmarish thoughts, nightmarish, I don't know, anxiety, depression. It's staying in, it's when we're staying in this energy too long. This uh, upset, angry, and then in the same, to, there's something about a completion with these, with the thoughts. Or completion, like putting it into heartache. Something in the past, allowing good news to come in. Allowing peace to come in, manifesting peace. With the magician. Coming out of a hard time. Five of Pentacles reverse. Coming out of a hard time or a struggle. Could be about. Also it could be about focusing it here on your health too. Because of how something might have been affecting your health. Whatever this was. This was a day to day thing that was going on. It was affecting your ability to work. And concentrate on the things that you have to do every day. This disagreement or strife or um, so you're being guided to a new opportunity ace of pentacle stable secure pulling out of financial hardships Getting away from the struggle. Getting away from the struggle. There's something about the Golden Rose and that Ace of Pentacles going together. Mm. It could be a betrayal that had to do with reciprocity. Somebody owing you something. Or just not wanting to work or cooperate with you very well. And person reverse could be isolating ourselves and in, in a in a weird way blocking off some creativity or 
feeling fearful to even take a leap of faith because of this experience leaving you slightly closed off or isolated all right so there's a decision that has to be made and maybe to split from somebody that's been very careless with you with this knight of wands the way that it was coming out was in the reverse and the two of swords upright so making a decision to go ahead and make that split if you feel that that's what's causing it that somebody who's been very careless with you with your heart or causing a, like a unnecessary struggles in your life mm, Capricorn let's take a look in the 108 deck See what else? Okay, I have Autumn, the Queen. And so this is, um, it says the timing on it is within six to nine months, but I think it's during one of these seasons. So uh, Libra season, uh, Scorpio season, Sagittarius season. Of course, this would be this time, uh, October, November, December. Of when something is going to manifest for you this here all of these energies do feel like they're creating somewhat of a optical illusion like with the nine of swords and this card kind of going together of like unnecessary worry causing anxiety i think it's directly tied to a person though I, if i could be honest here but also something about the reaction to this person so optical illusion, not what it seems, mirage, trap, unclear, visual effect, confusion, a head trip, trick, hallucination, hocus pocus, sleight of hand, projection, predictive programming. Yeah, okay. And so, like I said, if there's an energy that was keeping you from moving, moving forward... You're being literally advised to move forward, though, with the train. Being in the reverse, there's an ad advice uh, I'm getting as to why that was in the reverse for moving on life's journey, opening up to life's journey, releasing the worry, releasing unnecessary worry, moving forward. Another nine. Could be a past way of dealing with things is just to resort to worry okay but so oh, okay now i have still refinement taste culture fine tune develops over time purity alcohol reduction cultivation Unlikely at this situ at this time, this situation is unlikely to occur. Nine nine nine. I'll find out what that. Okay, no, I know what that is. It has to do with this worry that it's like the, it's tied to the nine of swords. It's tied to these other energies that are influencing you to worry about the worst possible outcome. And I think it's unlikely that that worst possible outcome is going to come true. That is an optical illusion of some sort. It's a head trip. It's a it's a mind fuck. Um, you could be dealing with a Taurus. I have heavy Taurus. I have heavy uh, Taurus, Gemini. Here's Cancer and Aquarius. But Symphony says harmony, synergy, co-create, collaborate, order, precise. And the pearl, it's another message about needing to maybe open up. Maybe your heart chakra is going to be cracked wide open once so the, this worry is placed in the hands of the divine. If you're open to that. You could be having anxiety also of um, trying to fit into a mold or people please to look a certain way, to act a certain way. 
to maintain something that doesn't feel comfortable to you uh, and it's just not working out and there's something about uh, maybe a developing a new strategy a new plan three 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 very powerful master move tactics course of action power plays be dealing with people that are trying to use power plays over you oh but you are the knight you are confident heroic you're the messenger here fearless assertive champion of a cause determined daring and strong and there is something here where you have a choice you have a decision bringing in harmonious change with the dice you may feel like you're going to be taking a chance but you have luck on your side beautiful okay so i have the eight the hot air balloon balance uplifting freedom to rise above feeling good to elevate the white rabbit a spark of curiosity gnosis a spiritual awakening heeding the call dark to light going down the rabbit hole and waking from a dream The fishing pole is, I, I think this is telling you, don't extend yourself too much for somebody else at this time. Focus on yourself. Um, the yes, connect with nature might be good too. And we're always, I think we're always trying self-improvement. We're always trying for that, I think. You'll need your spiritual strength at this time. It feels like a little bit of spiritual warfare, especially with these other cards being out here. Nature, connect with nature. There's something about connecting with nature more. Getting outside, getting some fresh air. This candle is going out. This is, I was going to wrap this up though, but the candle is definitely going out now. So, surprise, a disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise. An invitation could bring love to those searching. And then sexuality. Existing relationships could find new passion. And heightened sexual attraction, opportunities for marriage and a good family life are strong. But if single, beware, temptation could lead to trouble. A child will bring great joy. Romance. Love is set to sizzle. sizzle. <laughs> the chance for romance is high for those seeking a connection. And change. A change of residence partner career or job is on the cards you are feeling in re you are feeling restless in need of change and that is exactly what's coming your way so that's what i've got for you capricorn i'm sending you love and light bye